Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this new figure unboxing and review, we're going to be looking at the New Age Legendary Heroes. This is number 60, Philly, which is a legend scale third party take on a wind charger figure. So in this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes, I'll be decide how you want to display him. We are of course going to completely compare him with his Generation 1 original self. We'll bring in other New Age figures just to give you an idea of how well he scales with them. We'll also have a look at the accessories that come with him and how you can use them. Now I'm going to only be concentrating on Philly in this video and Tailgate will be in another video following up very soon. So as I start to pop these away, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. And also to thank Show Z, which is where this came from. And as you can see, they got it to me quickly and safely. So these come packed together in robot mode like that. And it is good that they are doing two figures um, in the one pack, especially when they are this small. I mean, look how much smaller it is than the actual G1 mini bot. So you can see straight away, I mean, it's tiny, but you can probably tell already, and you may have already seen the transformation process. It is really, um, I'm going to use the word finicky, I suppose. There's loads of panels, loads of folding up, etc. And don't get me wrong, you'll see in a second when we get him into robot mode, it's totally worth it. But again, maybe in my own opinion, it's just a little overcomplicated. Now, in the alternate mode, as you can see, the wheels go around no problem whatsoever. They're all on separate pins. We've got lovely painted windshield and indeed the detail at the back, which again is a perfect homage to the original figure, even though it's absolutely tiny. Uh, which is great though. So to give you an idea, here's an Earthrise MicroMaster, which is bigger. It is bigger than this. It really is a tiny, tiny figure. So compared, as I say, to the original, it's also smaller. Um, and to be honest, as I say, there's not really much more to show you in the alternate mode. There is uh, some accessories. One of these is for tailgate. One of these is for wind charger. Um, and then we've got a large torch, which I've got to be completely honest. I didn't really know what it was, but thankfully enough on the back of the box, we've got the detail there of how to use it. Just in case you're wondering why he's not called wind charger, because new age may transforming figures and Hasbro and Takara don't like that so they don't license them to. You'll notice that anything that's licensed by Hasbro or Takara is a non-transforming figure. Right, very quickly with regards to Wind Charger and Optimus Prime in alternate mode, you can see straight away how much um, bigger he is but these all scale much much better in robot mode. There is a core class Cheetor as well, just to give you an idea of how small he is. Nothing more to say about this particular mode. Let's have a look at him in his robot mode. So here he is then in his robot mode. And it, again, it's absolutely tiny, but it is super, super impressive. So let me bring him right up to where you can see him in the camera. You can see that the face sculpt is brilliant. He's instantly recognizable as wind charger. And there is articulation in the fact it will go all the way around. It will look up and down. You can see it's on a mushroom peg. So you've got full articulation there <clears throat> with regards to the shoulders they will go all the way up like a t they will go all the way around completely unrestricted they will swivel at the shoulder there's bicep flexion there is is there a wrist swivel there's no wrist swivel which to be honest i'm not surprised because of how small it is but you still get your bicep flexion there is a waist swivel there is still a legitimate ab crunch even in a figure this big which is as you can see, much, much smaller again than a Generation 1 figure. That hinge there is a legitimate ab crunch, which is nothing to do with the transformation. There is also a full waist rotation. The legs will kick past the point of the splits either way because they can kick all the way up and all the way back. And you can probably just about make out all these little hinges in here, which will give you a knee bend, a knee. No, there's no swivel. There's a swivel at the top of the hip. And then you've got a tilt rock everything in regards to the heels and yes you can tuck these in but they don't go all the way in but you can tuck these little sprues in which i have perhaps had a little bit too far out on the transformation process so yeah these are the what you can tell now why they're dubbed as mini masterpiece figures because they have the articulation of a masterpiece figure um but yeah the, obviously they are nice and small one thing to be aware of you probably saw in the transformation process due to how i suppose kind of finicky the um this part on the shoulder is they can pop off but the good thing is they are all ball and sockets so they're absolutely fine and you just reattach right i've zoomed in a little bit because i feel that we need to because if i put the original g1 wind charger next to him hopefully this is again going to give you a sense of just how small he actually is now i'm going to put this in just for a bit of fun don't worry you're not even going to see the top of him but that is intentional that's a generation one optimus prime which you can see is up to about his chest with regards to a new age optimus prime 
um, that is how they've scaled him. So that is how they've scaled him, not me. Um, I'm thinking that's a bit small again, to be honest, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is your Earthrise MicroMaster, which is pretty much, if it didn't have the ridiculous shoulder bits on here, about the same. If I bring this down and around, it's, it's actually, oh, there goes Prime. And there he goes himself. I can't get this to stand up. That's balancing there anyway. So they're only roughly, as I say, a teeny, teeny bit bigger than um, your MicroMaster figures, but obviously with a lot, lot more articulation. There is a modern day um, deluxe figure, which you can see. Um, this is a new age, not a new age, a Dr. Wu, which I think actually scales quite well with that. Um, I personally think that that's a little bit too small, uh, but I know my resident uh, new age expert, Pete, will comment whether the scaling is absolutely correct or not um, let's very quickly then have a look at how we can pop these accessories so it looks very simple like this is going to slot into his hands there we go so you could of course replicate the scenes from the cartoons and of course you can then pop a gun into his hand as well there you go fully articulate fully poseable um, and again very very clever borderline a little bit too clever for me on the transformation uh, but as you get used to it it's not too difficult uh, it's just a little bit more finicky and maybe I need to invest in one of them as I say splodges just to get the transformation process right each time but there we go guys I don't think there's much more to say about him uh, I'll bring in the other I'll bring in the tailgate version in their own mold sorry in their own video as well there he is. This is your new age take on a wind charger figure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.